working a heated brush into your beard or hair routine, whether it's your morning routine to get ready, or you use it like I do once every other week or so to kind of reset your beard and go through what I call beard boot camp. But you're noticing some buildup and some gook that's getting onto that heated brush and you want to know how to properly clean it. Don't worry, I got you guys. I'm gonna give you the very simple but best way to clean your heated brush. And my name is Dan Seabeard. For anyone that doesn't know, my subscribers call me the trusted teacher for all things beard related. And I do invite you guys to make sure your subscribe button is hit. If you enjoy this kind of content and watch my videos on a regular basis, it does make a big difference in the channel. So thank you guys, it seriously is appreciated. Uh, but stay tuned through the intro and I'll break it all down for you. Cleaning a heated brush. What do you need to start? Well, first off, you need your dirty heated brush. And I will be using the Kushel Bar, which is my favorite heated brush for my beard, but it's actually the most difficult to clean. It is a pain in the butt. Main reason is because the teeth are so close together. That's the aspect that I love for it with my beard personally, but when you clean, it's hard to get in there and get it really good, but I'll show you guys how. But I've had like seven other heated brushes, and some of them have bigger teeth or more spread out teeth. Those ones are a breeze and much easier to clean out with this same method. Number two, you want the two-in-one tool that's going to come with most of those heated brushes. It has a flat head on one end and a little brush on the other end. And if you didn't get one with your heated brush, they come in like the wall clipper sets. If you have a girlfriend, wife, fiance, mom, sister, grandma at home, they probably have one of these laying around because they come in a lot of the different hair tools that girls have. And if you don't, find something that will work for both ends. You probably have a little brush in your golf bag or something Something that's going to mimic a flat head kind of sharp point on the end there you'll be able to get the job done number three is you just want some good old-fashioned classic q-tips now I use usually about six or seven q-tips both ends when I'm cleaning it well and you want just your normal to small size q-tips they do make like extra large or bigger q-tips you don't want those smaller the better uh, to be able to get this job done and the last thing you need and this is the most important and that is going to be just straight up rubbing alcohol that's going to be the cleaning agent that's actually going to go to work and get everything off of this heated brush. Now, why do we need to clean it? Well, there's a lot of stuff that builds up on this. Well, why does it build up? Well, you're going to be using this on your beard. Hopefully you are using a protectant first, whether it is a beard oil, whether it is a carrier oil, or whether it is a heat shield oil. Now, all of those are perfectly fine. I really believe that I'm going to address that in a video in the near future. But what you're doing is you're putting that protection and this is straight up heat that's going on that oil and on your beard. And it is really like cooking it. Think about cooking in the kitchen when you put oil in a pan and it heats up, you have to clean that pan afterwards. It's no different with this. So it's very natural for those oils, for the essential oils to be able to build up on here. No worries at all. You just need to get them off so it doesn't leave build up in your beard, so it doesn't get bacteria over time. Easy peasy, I got you guys. So what you wanna do first is you wanna get that two-in-one tool, use the side that has the sharp point there, and you just wanna get into those teeth and get out anything you can. The bigger stuff like hair, like buildup, anything, any flakes like that, you want to get that off and make a little blow off there, do a little tap. Try to get off as much as you can before you're going in there with the rubbing alcohol. So use the teeth. Now you can take the brush there, brush it on through. This thing is perfect to be able to get in between these really close and tight teeth, right? All of that. I don't need to break that down too much for you guys. Now, the really big step, but simple step to be able to clean this, and this will do absolutely no harm to a heated brush. It is perfectly fine, perfectly safe. Get your rubbing alcohol. I would probably put it in a little bowl, whatever you want to do. For this purpose of the video, I'm just going to get it down on the end here. Right? I want to make sure I got a nice saturated Q-tip for this. And all you're going to do is work into this heated brush. I like to push in there, do a little spin on each one. Anywhere you can get in there and go around, you're going to do good. Now again, the cushion bar is really close together, so you got to kind of work it a little bit and really cover your basis. Start on one side, kind of go with the grid pattern, flip it over, get the other one in there, and that's all you're really going to do. Number one, 
clear everything out of there. Number two, go in with rubbing alcohol and then just let it breathe. You don't need to rinse it off. You don't need to do anything else. Just let it breathe and then you'll be good to go. The next time you use it, you wanna let it run maybe a little bit longer than normal when it's warming up because it's gonna get some of that rubbing alcohol and some of that excess stuff that you moved around. It's just gonna burn it off real quick and be good to go. That's it, super simple. Let the rubbing alcohol do its job and it's gonna clean that off for you guys. It is important to keep this clean so you're not putting stuff back into your beard that's been sitting on here for weeks or months or however long it's been out there. So, that's how you clean the heated brush. Do you guys have any questions, comments, concerns? Leave them down below. And I hope this helped out somebody with a short but to the point video. My name again, guys, is Dancy Bearded. I hope you stay bearded and stay positive.